creating a design in Silhouette Studio is one thing, but getting that design ready to cut is another job completely. Let's take a look at this design. I made everything in Silhouette Studio. Let me know if you want more tips and tricks on how I actually designed this. But for today, we're focusing on learning how to get it ready to cut. You can see in the design that there are spots that are overlapping. And if we just sent this as is, it would turn out to be kind of a mess and you would have pieces overlapping where they shouldn't be and extra pieces cut where they shouldn't be. And it's just not going to go well if we send it to cut as is. Now I did get this one ready to cut and it's all grouped together right now. But if I click ungroup, I have everything sorted into different layers and we can just send these right off to cut. Now I want to take a minute and look at these flowers in particular. You can see in this design here that's still put together, this flower overlaps this flower and this flower overlaps the mushroom stem and there's quite a few spots in here that have to be adjusted to cut. When I pull the white layer away, you can see that I have cut out different spots. I cut this out of the mushroom and just made some minor adjustments so that my cuts don't overlap. Now the black layer overlapped as well here and here, here, a few different spots, right? Since the black layer is going to be the base, I was able just to weld everything together here. I used weld on this one and we'll go into more detail in a minute. But the main point right now is everything is grouped by color so that you can place each color on the mat and send it to cut one at a time. Let's just hit our undo button and put everything right back where it was on this design. We can select all of our layers, right click and group them together. Let's pull this other one onto the mat for a minute and take a look at what we have here now. I just designed this. It is not ready to cut. Let's go ahead and ungroup this and you'll see what I mean. The different groups of stars are grouped together, but they're also grouped with the offset. The yellow layer, white layer, and the offset are grouped together with this flower. And there's not the cutout on the petals where they need to be. Let's put that back. The words are grouped. The offsets behind them. There's all kinds of little things that would just be a mess if we sent this to cut. And we're going to go through and fix all of those little issues in this video. The first thing we need to do is make sure that everything is completely ungrouped. I've selected everything and I'm going to click on ungroup until I cannot ungroup anymore. It's grayed out now. So everything is its own separate piece. So it's going to move on its own now. Let's focus on getting our cuts right first. I'm going to zoom in here on this flower. And we need to think about how we want the final project to look. In the final project, I do want this black layer showing, but these petals need to be cut a little bit. So we are going to select the black offset of this flower, hold down our shift key and select the white petals on this flower. We can open up the modify panel and we can choose between subtract all or subtract. Now we want this offset to stay put. We do not want to get rid of that. You can see here in subtract all that top layer is going to remain intact. If we use subtract, that layer would go away. So with both of them selected, we can click on subtract all and it doesn't really look like anything happened. But if we pull this away, you can see that there's now a cutout here and a cutout here. And that's going to be perfect when we go to layer it. Let's put that right back in its place. Now we can come down here and see that this offset is over top of this petal and we need to cut that away. Let's put that right back. And once again, we're going to select the offset on this word and these three offsets are still grouped together, but that's okay. We have that selected. We're going to hold down our shift key and select the petals on this flower and once again, we're going to use subtract all. That made the necessary cutout on this one. Moving right along. The next overlap I see is in the stem of the mushroom. This offset overlaps the mushroom colored mushroom base. So we can select that offset, hold down the shift key and select the mushroom stem. 
and subtract all. And I always like to double check just to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. And we can click the back button and it'll put it right back for us. And we just want to go through and look at everything to find these little overlapping spots. The next one is this mushroom. The offset on this is going to overlap this mushroom and it's going to overlap the red layer but also the white layer. So let's put those back into their places. We're going to select the offset layer and if you look up at top this color shows me that I have the mushroom cap selected not the offset so I need to try again that time it showed up black for the color that tells me I have the offset layer selected that's what I needed and for right now I'm going to select the white dots and subtract all that did cut that away perfect let's put that back let's select our offset again this one is tricky and we can select the red mushroom cap now and once again subtract all we can pull that away and see that it in fact did cut where it was supposed to so let's set that right back where it belongs Next, we have this cutout here. Select the offset, hold down the shift key, select the red mushroom cap layer, and subtract all. Pull that away, you can see the cutout. That's perfect. And we can put that right back in place. Let's fit this back to the window now so we can see the entire design and just make sure that we got everything that we were supposed to get. And I think that looks pretty good. That one is done. That layer's cut out. Everything looks real good. So what we can do now that we have all of our cutouts done, we can start selecting by color. We're going to click on by fill and you can see all of our colors show up here. We're going to leave the black offset layer for last. So let's start with yellow because that one is on top here. Click on yellow and it's going to select all of our yellow pieces. We can right click and group those together and pull that off and that layer is all ready to cut. Next we can work on the white layer and has selected all of the white dots and the daisies. Again we can right click and group and move those off to the side. Let's go ahead with the red now, right click and group, the green right click and group and last but not least the mushroom color right click and group okay now we have all of our different mats over here they're all grouped together and ready to cut out the black layer the base layer or the offset still has some overlapping pieces that we don't want to cut like that we want all of this to be one solid piece wherever it overlaps so now we're going to draw our bounding box around all of the pieces and this time we're going to right click and weld them together. Now the pieces that were overlapping are merged into one piece. There's not going to be any extra cuts there. There's still a lot of pieces left so we can right click and group this together. While we're at it, let's send this to the back because it is the back layer. And we can start pulling our other layers back on and getting them kind of lined up. These don't have to be perfect because it won't be cut like this. We'll have to be more precise when we are layering the actual vinyl. Now it's all put back together. We can grab all of our layers, right click and group them together. And we're able to scale our design down to whatever size we want. When it's scaled to the right size and we're ready to cut, we can right click and ungroup. And again, all of our layers are grouped together and ready to go. I actually like the look of the black and white spotted mushrooms. It gives it a whole different vibe. And that's kind of one of the neat things about getting it this far in the process too, is now you can just go through and select layers and swap out to different colors and see what you like best in your design.